on our homestead here. I have some editing to do, so I'm doing this on my camera phone, and I hope it holds out. This is our hillbilly hack. Our new ram, Buddy, had some, some issues with his poo, so we had to... We did some natural stuff, and then we had to pull out the big guns. Hey! To which the eldest ah. is not being very nice to him right now. Um, pecking order and all that, I suppose. But he really just can't. He doesn't need that right now. He needs to get better. Um, anyway, we are, we are, as always, had problems catching sheep to do anything with them. Trim hooves, do anything. And since that, we had to get them medicine five days a week, um, which we ended up just treating just um, Buddy because he was the only one that had it. Um, so um, I'm still treating him. But last night, we also had to get some hooves trimmed and check them over really good before they're mated. And he gets better. He is going to get better. I'm, I'm, I'm believing that. So we don't have all the fancy stuff and the money to buy the fancy stuff. And we were getting very frustrated and we're thinking, you know, like, we might as well just hang it up if we can't do this with, you know, um, large animals like this and keep them alive, then, you know, we're done. This is not our bag. Um, let's not mate them. Let's just be done. So, um, and that was all kind of like a, uh, if Buddy doesn't get better, something happens to Buddy, um, that would be the second ram and the third sheep um, gone that we had gone since we started two it would have been two um the ram was by choice because he was mean um this ram is sweet just really tired weak and he needs to get better but he is improving a lot everything looks a lot better than it did before so i'm happy about that um i think it's the third dose out of the five so that's really good good thing um anyway so the hillbilly hack is I went up and there was a separation between our egg layers, which we now have mobile, and the ducks, which have a stationary area. Um, there was two uh, pig uh, panels that were in between separating them because, well, chickens like to mess up where the ducks are and the ducks don't like the fact that the chickens mess it up. And it is, it's a thing. It's a social interaction that just wasn't working here. So I um, managed to get these down and hooked them on the back of the tractor and pulled them down here and I loaded up some T-posts and brought those down here and we brought some wire and cutters and the, Carrie brought that pounder last night when he came home. Good boy, bud, you eat all you want. I've got grain in there. Um, I went and got grain to help um, build up his, his strength, 14% uh, protein. Then I had this small piece, back to my hillberry hack, had this small piece that we had cut um, to make uh, an arch for something stuff to grow on. And this was the um, the drop for the back. So we just, you know, make a line from the Premier One fence um, and they ran right in and it was just not too, not too narrow to freak them out, but not wide enough that, you know, it's not gonna do us any good. So we were able to get, it wasn't, it's still not easy. Um, and everybody just said, oh, just flip them, set them on their butt. Well. The back legs don't come and they weigh a lot and maybe we're just weak and old. I don't know. But anyway, um, we managed to check all hooves. We trimmed one. Um, we had trimmed it the other one before. Everybody else looks good on the hooves. Um, we did give everybody medication last night. But like I said, uh, you know, we had moving them frequently because of his, you know, issues. And also wanted them to have better and more forage choice so i made this a lot bigger than it normally would be and i've been moving them like every other day so that's intense movement especially since i've got to stay off the top half up there for six weeks <laughs> because i ran chickens up there um so this is the hillbilly hack for um if you need something to drive your sheep your goats your whatever into and you don't have those fancy equipment you can drive them into something like this, just leave it stationary, and then just hook up so, um, a guide fence um, from wherever, mere one, whatever you've got into it. They'll go into it. If you have to, you can put some feed in the end of it or treats at the end of it. And once they get used to, hey, there's going to be treats in there, they're going to go in there just kind of like a stanchion, but only we can get them all in there and do everything we have to do all at once. So that's really cool. We do have a chair um, that we got from Premier One. I'm not, I'm not hacking out on Premier One, but... Um, the big girl, um, 
is the only one that we've actually tried to put in there. Um, I think actually the one that we that got caught in the fence um, earlier this year, she um, she was in it and didn't have a problem, but we put her in it first and she broke it. <laughs> she broke the elastic bands on the chair. So Premier One was really nice and sent me another one um, to which when we put her in it to trim her hooves, she broke it again. So now I have a broken chair that costs like over $300 or something like that that I can't seem to use because I'm doing it exactly the way Premier One says to do it and no dice. So don't know what I'm going to do there. I may call them. But the new paddock is set up. The grain is out. They've gone over and eaten it. There's two things of water for them. I cannot move that tractor. I have no more energy left in me. Um, so that will happen to happen when Carrie comes home from work tonight and we'll also give um, Buddy his medicine and we have a small group tonight. Hey there, girl. Um, let's go from there. Getting close to your favorite place, the tree you love to rub up, up, on, rub up on, huh? Yeah. That's plenty of forage. Get busy, girlfriend. All right. Well, there you go. There's Buddy. Nutty Buddy. We're hoping he gets better soon. The girl's going to heat, and then we can maybe finally start selling some of them and making a little money. <laughs> but um, anyway, we will talk to you soon.